This game is rated M and is intended for mature audiences. So I'm excited to start today because we finally finished with the common route and now we are getting ready to start the Sachi route today. I've been eager to get onto one of the official routes for a while now. That was a very long starting area, or st <laughs> that was a very long intro of just the common route. I really liked it though. I liked the skit format where you just kind of get a bunch of interactions with the characters. Again, there are some things I could have done without, but I think on the whole it's a very strong start. But I, I, from what I understand, once you actually get on the character's roots, that's where the story starts getting very good. Which, I'm excited about that. I want more good story and less dirty jokes. That's what I'm looking for. Anyhow. You're going to continue the girl who can't say no. Alrighty. This definitely sounds like Sachi, so let's see what's up. <laughs> Abracadabra chupacabra. That those are not <laughs> words that you typically see going together. As the second recess period of the day begins, a highly suspicious ritual unfolds before my eyes. Hey Sakaki, our classmate seems to be using her twin tails as antennas in an attempt to intercept human brainwaves. <laughs> oh boy. Hi Nick, how's it going? Yeah, good luck. <laughs> I know it's an M-rated game. Yeah, there's gonna be dirty jokes. I'm just saying, I personally prefer good story over dirty jokes. I'm expecting a lot more, though. Well, maybe not, but that strikes me as a problem in its own right. What? <laughs> oh boy. Completely indifferent to our whispers, Michiru finishes chanting her incantation. A powerful jinn promptly answers the call. <laughs> Genie of the lamp! Oh boy. That's a long time, Michiru. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it took her two hours, and an hour and a half of that was watching Aladdin, so... Face lotion? <laughs> Saji just gradually starts hoarding things in her locker. As soon as she understands Michiru's request, Saji trots off to her oversized storage locker in the back of the classroom. I think the, the official name is Powder Puff, but with those words, Sachi grasps her chest with both hands. Oh, brother. Maybe that's something that doesn't translate into English very well. I'm trying to understand how Sachi possibly misunderstood that. Oh boy. Somebody asks Sachi for a favor, leading to a subtle but bizarre misinterpretation. In the end, someone heaves an exasperated sigh. This, too, is hardly anything out of the ordinary. I've seen something of this sort so many times since coming to the school that it's practically a part of the scenery by now. But when you stop and think about it... Okay, last time... First you wanted me to be your older brother, then you wanted me to be your dad, and now you want me to be your son? No. I'm not brooding. Also, I'm not your son. Hmm... I suppose you could compare heavy sweat soaking through the back of your shirt to crying, but I'm not currently perspective. Well, I am on her route now, so yes. I don't mind you butting into the conversation, but do me a favor and keep your obobs to yourself. 
If you want to take me by surprise, you're going to need more a more dramatic measure. I'd recommend knocking me unconscious, maybe sleeping pills or something of the sort. Don't give her any ideas! <laughs> Dog on it. Of course, if she actually tried mixing some drug into my food, I'm confident I'd notice 8 times out of 10. I still don't like a 20% chance. I <laughs> That always makes me hesitate when I take a 20% chance in Fire Emblem. <laughs> well, just thinking about how familiar that routine of hers is by now. Why is that? Yeah, and she's taking away your independence. You gotta be you gotta be a strong independent woman. Not relying on others. <laughs> hmm. 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 I think Sachi actually likes serving people, so... So you're saying that faithful servant routine's an expression of friendship or something? Yeah. She's gotta like it on some level, otherwise it would be very difficult to keep that up day in and day out. Well, I guess not. Compared to the others, Michiru tends to request menial gopher-style errands pretty frequently, but Sachi never shows any sign of irritation. On the contrary, she often overflows with gratitude, as if being given work offers her satisfaction in itself. You know what? Hard work and responsibility does indeed give you great satisfaction. But objectively speaking, a charitable attitude that extreme has to be considered downright abnormal. Oh, for sure. Pretty interesting girl in that sense. <laughs> oh, yes, ind indubitably. I see where you're going with this, but that's not what I meant. She's like, thank goodness. I mean, I already turned down your route. But still. Komenasachi, eh? Impressive job picking up on my muttering. But no. No, I did not. I was just <laughs> wondering out loud. Sorry about that. Well, you're not wrong, but that's also kind of inappropriate to talk about. Don't lump me together with pure-hearted youths who can find joy in a crumpled orange porn mags discovered under the boardwalk. Pure-hearted? <laughs> right then. This is strange as well. When I offer a retort to some weird statement of Sachi's, she'll fully accept my rebuke, basically overwriting her previous opinion. True, she often mumbles something like, is that so first? But that's nothing more than a rhetorical question or request for clarification, not an attempt to argue. Roughly speaking, Sachi's responses to our orders run along a fixed course from confirmation to consent and finally implementation. <laughs> what do you mean by before? Like, before I showed up? If so, oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> I wonder who it was that t convinced her to do that. Hmm. So what brought on the change? <laughs> yes, my new my new intro is the Papa uh, saves the zoo dancing penguins. I think it's a big improvement over just a very still badly drawn image of me like, hey, stream starting soon. <laughs> People out there in YouTube land will have absolutely no idea what I'm talking about right now. But if you join in Artie's Twitch streams. At the beginning, you will see my intro screen of Papa Dancing with Penguins. So, <laughs> right, Amine? <laughs> the two nod to each other, and four narrowed eyes focus on my face. When even Michiru knows what brought on the change, you know you're playing dumb. <laughs> Yumiko's like, really, Yuji? <laughs> well, counting a certain somebody who's begun to stare contemptuously in my direction without even lifting her chin from her hand, I guess it's actually six. Sorry, but passionate gazes aren't going to get you what you want. 
Try flowers and a box of chocolates. <laughs> They're so unamused. <laughs> I love Michiru's just like, are you kidding me, dude, face. <laughs> yep. In short, they want me to say this is my fault. Then again, I am the first male student in this school. In that sense, I'm acting as a foreign element added to a relatively stable mixture. Since Sachi's been forced to adjust to living in a dorm with me, I guess some changes in her behavior and attitude wouldn't be surprising. Well, I won't deny my role in this. I just realized, Twitch chat is not actually showing up on my OBS right now. Sorry about that, folks, but we're back now. <laughs> Alright. Newcomers have to keep their heads down, after all. I feel like I heard a cranky spirit griping about something in the corner of the classroom, but I'm going to say I was just hearing things. But precisely because I'm a newcomer, there's a specific aspect of our class representative's behavior that I'm beginning to wonder, wonder about. Have to say, though, I've been here a couple of months now, but I haven't seen Sachi refuse a request even once. I don't think she ever would, really. The instant I put my observation into words, Amine's eyes open wide in shock. To rephrase, it seems like Sachi's dictionary doesn't include the word impossible. I didn't mean anything else by it. Yeah, I, I know if you're talking if you're referring to your the Freddy Fish 2 scene, yeah, I'm familiar with that. Freddy Fish 2 is a game that I didn't play a whole lot, but I know what you're talking about with the Eddie the Eel dance numbers. <laughs> I seriously feel like you could go to Sachi and be like, Sachi, give me your life savings, and she'd be like, of course. And that's a problem. What? You haven't seen it happen either, Amine? <laughs> Figuratively or literally? Because she might literally shoot someone down in this, uh, route. <laughs> hmm. Even Michiru, who seems to have provided the largest volume of requests by a significant margin... あんた最初からこの学園にいたんだから、さすがに1回くらいは見たことあるでしょ。小峰さんがここに来たのはあなたより後の時間的な条件は同じでしょ。Well, <laughs> in other words, despite living in close proximity to her for more than half a year, none of you have ever seen Sachi say no to someone. She's just the girl who can't say no. Makina's reaction is actually pretty understandable. Even if, by some chance, everyone's forgotten an occasion or two when Sachi did say no, this strong consensus must mean that she's gone along with their requests an overwhelming majority of the time. Usually, you'd only expect that kind of self-sacrifice from the Holy Mother reincarnate, or a very well-trained soldier. I'm not familiar with the Holy Mother. Hmm, well, calling it a discussion might be a bit of an overstatement, but... The sad thing is, that might actually be true. <laughs> I hope not, though. Well, Makina, you do need to learn to watch your mouth. And also, Amina, you too need to learn to watch your mouth. Oh, <laughs> uh, boy. <laughs> I do a. I'm not. I don't. Pro I'm not a proponent of violence for the most part, but I gotta admit, Amina dope slapping Makina when she says really rude stuff is pretty amusing. 
Okay, moving on. I've got one question I want to ask you, Sachi. Can you remember refusing any requests since you came to this school? Even one? <laughs> gotta re gotta put in a new battery. あ、すみません。今自分の記憶を検索していたのですが、私の覚えている限りではないと思います。ってことは本当に今まで一度も私たちのお願いを断ったことがないってこと。ユムコ <laughs> is like, "What?" <laughs> Aww. That's nice. They're all they're all thanking her for her hard work. Michiru and the others abruptly swarm around Sachi, surprised and enthusiastic to discover such an impressive feat so close to at hand. They resemble nothing so much as an eccentric soccer team mobbing a defender for scoring the come from behind goal in the extra time. <laughs> Take the compliment, Sachi. On the other hand, the hero in question doesn't quite seem to understand why she's getting the star treatment all of a sudden. You can practically see the question marks floating above her head. We actually could! <laughs> Bit late in the game, but it seems they've finally taken note of your me <laughs> meritorious service, Saji. You did pay for that, right, Michiru? You didn't make Sachi pay for it out of her pocket money, right? あの時はインターネット上でいろんな質問ができるサイトに投稿したら親切な人が商品名と売っている場所を教えてくれたんです。ヨフーの知恵袋。<笑> Dang, Sachi is such the go-getter. If it took an hour of 45 to get there... We're probably talking about the Chutsu rice growing region. Girl must have been wandering out around way out in the sticks. Maybe they couldn't actually use eBay in a commercial game though. <sighs> Apparently, Sachi's finally caught on to the fact that she's being praised, as her cheeks have grown slightly red. She did mention that Amine and Michiru haven't been complimenting her as much as they used to, so this sudden barrage of appreciation might be fairly enjoyable. Nothing particularly special, huh? True, our community is small-scale and relatively isolated from the outside world, but she's offered her help to everyone here quite literally without fail. That alone would be pretty remarkable by almost any standard, but Sachi seems to be completely oblivious to this fact. Of course, when you hear never once, I think it's only human nature to think, uh, feel a little interest in seeing the streak broken. No. No, don't break the streak. Oh, shoot, I, f I forgot my water again. I'll it'll be five seconds. Okay, my I'm a liar. It was more than five seconds, but it took almost no time. And now I've now I've got my water ASMR back. <sighs> Can't stream a visual novel without some water. It, I guess it might go a little without saying, but the laundry facilities in our dormitory are pretty high class. <laughs> Très chic. 
The machines are state-of-the-art combination washer-dryers. So long as you can handle pushing a button, the rest is pretty much automatic. My attitude toward housework has always been indifferent at best, but these things still make my life noticeably easier. For example, I'm currently heading to the third floor, secure in the knowledge that I can get my laundry more or less taken care of in the time it takes to cook my rice to cook. <laughs> Aww, that was an adorable little song. <laughs> that was so cute. But when I reach the top of the stairs, I find Sachi in front of the machine, singing a funky avant-garde tune to herself as the laundry tumbles around inside. Avant-garde. <laughs> if you've lost your way in life, I'll lend an ear to your troubles. <laughs> I was making a joke. Alright, then, what was with the psalm just now? It was adorable. <laughs> I see. Understood. Makina wrote the psalm? <laughs> That's so cute! I'll buy that. I guess the only people I can picture coming up with a song like that are A. Drunken office workers lying around a train station at 2.30 in the morning and B. Irisu Makina. I didn't need to know that. And you're telling me this why? <laughs> Appreciate the thought, but that was your mistake. That was your mistake. <laughs> wow. Sachi, my friend, I'm genuinely curious. Just what kind of skills do you think I've been developing? Okay, let's just change the subject. Since you're up here watching your laundry, I guess you already ate dinner? I see. A wholesome rhythm of life you've got there. Very much the model student. Why are you changing in front of me? No, not yet. Why? Apparently it's harder to gain weight that way, yes. But again, why are you changing in front of me? More importantly, Sachi... Can I go ahead and smack you at this point? Are they already dating at this point? Once again, I find myself wondering whether you're even a human being. Take a look at yourself and think about it. Specifically, what you're wearing. Why does Sachi constantly get in her underwear in front of us? This is very uncomfortable. Yes, yes you are. Tell me, are you the type who finds sexual excitement in exposing yourself in front of other people? Then why did you take off your clothes? Normally you take off your clothes when you're alone in the bathroom. I see. This room's right next to the grand bath. So you're trying to make efficient use of the time spent waiting for your laundry? That said, efficiency isn't really enough of a reason to justify this personal strip show. But should I even bother trying to explain that to her? Yes! You got- you put her in the mindset of it's okay to expose yourself in front of other people. You've got to get her out. Absolutely not. That would be inappropriate. In what? Your flashing enthusiast club? No. Hmm. Well, I believe I've just recently- <laughs> I've just received an unambiguous invitation to take a bath with a classmate of the opposite gender. Perfectly normal school stuff! But as I understand it, for men and women beyond the age of puberty, such an act requires either a financial transaction or a certain degree of pre-existing intimacy. Um, gross. Sachi and I are merely classmates. We're not in a relationship, and we're not blood-related siblings. I want to think it's natural for me to feel a little dubious here. If this, if he accepts, this is going to turn very uncomfortable. Let's see. 
I don't find the idea particularly objectionable. Really? <laughs> but I'll pass this time. Wow. I don't need to... Yep, this is just completely confirming. I am very much the odd one out here. For, for one thing, I'm currently in the middle of making dinner. Well, yeah, more or less. For another thing, I have a feeling it'd be difficult to make up an excuse if one of the others walked in on us. Dude, you've already caused her to strip in her underwear in front of people twice before now. They're just gonna be like, really, dude? Again? Yeah, sounds about right. Enjoy the bath. Okay! Moving on from that, Sachi! Maybe a smack upside the head would have been best after all? I have not found that to add any flavoring to the food, by the way. Looks like it's about time! After quickly double-checking the clock on the wall, I leave my room. When I reach the third floor, I find the laundry room empty. Of course, since there's only six boarders in this dormitory, that's hardly unusual in itself. But... As I bend forward to retrieve my dried laundry, I notice something slightly odd about this picture. Sachi left her laundry in the machine? These machines take approximately 70 minutes to wash and dry a load of clothing. Hey, that's not too bad! <laughs> the washer and dryer I have at my condo, they each take like over an hour. So it's 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 basically two and a half hours to wash and dry a load of laundry for me. When Saji headed off to take her bath, the display on her machine read somewhere around 15 minutes. In other words, it's been sitting here for nearly an hour. My master once told me young women love their long ass baths, but 70 minutes is a little much. That, that's just too much. And it's hard to believe Sachi would have returned without taking her laundry, especially since we were just talking about efficiency. Above all else, I don't think I've ever seen her leave a job so sloppily unfinished before. Something feels wrong about this. Even if Sachi really is just taking a long soak, it shouldn't be a problem if I call out to her through the door. Y don't, don't go in! But yeah, maybe, maybe make sure she isn't dead. When I make my way into the changing room, Sachi's slippers quickly catch my eye. Hard to picture her wandering off barefoot for no good reason, which would mean... Sachi, it's me. Are you in there? This is not going to go well. It's going to be the classic anime cliche of, Oh, we peek on the girl while she's taking a bath. I try calling out to her from near the door, but there's no response. I can't make out the sound of the running water either, so it doesn't seem like she's in the middle of a shower. In that case, I think immediate action is called for. How about you get one of the girls? <laughs> Hi, Marty. How are, how are you doing? I, I hope not. There's no nudity in this game. It gets censored. I do know that. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just gonna be the anime cliche. Like, oh no! Uh, woo! You saw me naked! We have to go out now. In that case, I think immediate action is called for. Yuji, please get one of the other girls to check and don't just barge in yourself. But he's gonna barge in himself. Sure enough. Sachi, if you're in here, respond! So help me if there's another girl in here. This time, I shout Sachi's name loudly, but there's still nothing that sounds like a reply. <laughs> hmm? What's that? But when I give the room a careful survey, I notice a small head poking out of the water near a far window. What? How did we get like this? This skit started, started so cute with Sachi singing like an adorable little song while watching the laundry, and now look where we are. And she's mumbling quietly to herself. Counting something? Puzzled, I approach Sachi along the edge of the bath. A few meters away, I finally notice that her eyes aren't open. Sachi! The instant I understand that Sachi's muttering deliriously, I reach into the warm water and pull her out of the bath. Please don't give us a CG. What is she doing in here? Besides taking a bath. We really should have had... We really should have had the girls come in here and do it instead. Is she a robot? I'm pretty sure at least one person in this game is a robot. I thought it was Yuji, but it could be Sachi. Her expression blank and vacant, Sachi continues to mumble a string of numbers. From the symptoms, it seems fairly clear that she fainted from overly long exposure to this sauna-like temperature. I think an emergency rest and recovery period is in order. 
With that decided, I haul Sachi's naked body out of the bathroom, then car carefully carry her down the stairs to the second floor. How about you, like, at least give her a towel? Otherwise, this is going to look real bad. And we go to Amine's room. Oh, this is going to look real bad. Excuse me, coming in. I, in consideration to the room's owner, I give approximately half a second of advance notice before barging in. Not waiting for permission, I set Sachi down on the bed. Just perfectly normal school stuff. Sorry, but there's no time to argue right now. Could you get me a bag of ice and a wash bowl sooner rather than later? Amine's taking this surprisingly well. Quickly grasping the nature of the situation, Amine runs off to the bathroom without f any further questions. Seems bringing Sachi to this room in particular was the right call. Okay, at least we gave her a towel. This is still very lewd, though. We will not be making this the thumbnail. About 15 minutes after I brought her to Amine's room, Sachi's breathing settles into the soft, regular rhythm of sleep. I have no idea. Long story short, Sachi fainted in the Grand Bath, and I found her there. Yeah, I figured you'd be the most reliable by far in this sort of situation. Hmm. If that's fair, Marty, it's still gonna be weird, though. <laughs> way, to, way to have tact, Machina. Apparently, even Machina can realize that it's not an appropriate time for the usual Solon dance. She accepts Amine's warning and quietly plops herself down at Sachi's bedside. <clears throat> she doesn't have cancer. She just got lightheaded from staying in the bath too long. Come on, I... I, I, come on, I could be in the hot tub for an hour. Maybe the sauna is uh, hotter than the hot tub, though. Watch out, Nick. Sachi's 15. She seemed to be counting something in there. I'd expect someone put a strange idea in her head. Probably Michiru or... Or Machina. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, saunas are hotter than hot. Okay, I, I probably should have known that, but I've never been to a sauna before. I also don't really intend on going to one. <laughs> I saw the text box. It said gulp. You know, as you do, pretty normal girl stuff, right? Marty, you can confirm. You definitely talk about stuff like this, right? <laughs> what? How, did, how does that come up? <laughs> as the circumstances come to light, Amine breathes a heavy sigh. It's pretty clear that Sachi took Makina's hyperbole 100% literally and interpreted it as a mandatory new part of her bathing routine. Thank you, Amine! How is it Amine is the one who's talking sense? What, what kind of TV show are you watching? This is like... <laughs> This is, like, the worst TLC show ever. Actually, no. No, no, no. That's still better than Totters and Tiaras. <laughs> what? <laughs> Makina is so weird. I don't think Sachi understands jokes or sarcasm. Since she actually offered a halfway sincere sounding apology for once, Makina seems to be feeling something surprisingly close to genuine remorse. A rare sight indeed. 
Hi, Sachi. Are you feeling better? At some point during this exchange, Sachi opened her eyes ever so slightly. Sachi, stop counting! <laughs> In the next instant, she picks up the count exactly where she left off, like some sort of human time bomb. You got apple fritters, Marty? I want an apple fritter. <laughs> ah, it's okay. I still got homemade cookies. <laughs> Thank you. How the game is really trying to convince me that Amine is a good person. She's uh, no. <laughs> Where it's like, oh, Amine, she's like the normal, like kind-hearted one. It's like, no, she. <laughs> it doesn't make a whole lot of sense how she did a complete 180 in that regard. <laughs> Oh, oh, Meyer apple fritters. Those are still fine. I thought you went to the local cider mill or something. I... Okay. Apple fritters are still good, even if you go to Meyer, though. As soon as the words are out of her mouth, Sachi's eyes fall shut and her body goes totally limp. <sighs> so, you think that's going to be enough to keep this from happening again? <laughs> In that case, couldn't you have done something about the way she addresses Michiru? Hmm. Yeah, sounds like she brought it on herself. I see. So she made an over-aggressive attempt at impressing Sachi of her character right off the bat, and it backfired spectacularly. Why do you talk like a kid? Hmm. Somehow, a diligent personality doesn't feel quite sufficient as an explanation for all this. No, there's something going on there. Uh, I thought she said ice cream, not just ice. Energetic as always, Makina patters off to the kitchen ahead of Amine. That's, that's true, hot water freezes faster than cold water, strangely enough. Well then, Sachi's... Why does it keep bringing us back to the CG? I turn to the back of bed to find the maid in question as we gain consciousness. Yeah, I'm Kazumi Yuji. But more importantly, are you Komen Asachi? Hmm, seems she's recovered enough of her wits to offer coherent responses. You lost consciousness in the Grand Bath. I found you there and brought you to Amine's room for treatment. Well, it isn't much of an inconvenience, really. Wouldn't even qualify as trouble in my book. I know why the CG keeps coming up. I just don't like it. My attempts at downplaying the incident seem to have been appropriate, as Sachi smiles in evident relief. Again? I don't remember the first time. Yeah, so it seems. I answer Sachi's statement with an artificial attempt at a reassuring smile. Since I'm talking to a dazed invalid, I decide to play alone, but I don't remember this ever happening before. I'm not sure where the again is coming from. Oh, I'm not alone then. She must still be pretty out of it, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it kind of is. <laughs> Sachi's expression grows thoughtful. She seems to be thinking back on the incident and attempting to analyze her behavior. 
Don't try to think too hard right now. Makina's admitting she's to blame here, so let's leave it at that. Sachi's a bit like Nagisa? I don't know about that. They're both quiet. That's about it. <laughs> and they have, I guess, the shortish hair. Personally, Sachi reminds me more of Kotomi. Sachi answers Makina with a gentle smile, but by the end of the conversation, I can see fine beads of sweat running down her face. Okay, that's enough talk for now. Take it easy for a while. Hi. With that short response, Sachi closes her eyes to sleep once more. Yeah, okay, they do apologize too much. That's fair. Hey there, Makina. Huh? Sorry, but can you watch over Sachi for the rest of the day? I seriously doubt that, but point taken. How very reassuring. Sorry, kind of feels like I'm pushing all the hassle onto you. True. You're quick on the uptake. I like that about you. I'll make you soup. Has this woman already forgotten the words she literally just said? Or has she simply decided the rules don't apply to her? I'll see what I can do about that. <laughs> Next day, Amine spends the entire day on <laughs> washing her face in a cold shower. <laughs> Smirking in a way more befitting of a dirty old man than a young woman, Amine saunters back to the kitchen. Hmm. All well and good that I got my classmate through her little crisis unscathed, but that achievement seems to have come at a considerable price. <laughs> 